Hi, I'm back. Um, I decided, even after that last failure, I decided I'm going to continue uh, doing this because I'm having such a good time with the baking and with the videoing. I'm going to make some sourdough pretzels. Let's we'll see how that turns out. I don't know if I can mess that one up. But let's give it a shot. And here we go. I'll uh, give you the ingredients as we go along. But um, I'll list them at the end so you don't need to be overly concerned about writing them down at, at the moment. So there's one cup of starter, unfed starter. Uh, I got this recipe from uh, King Arthur Flower website and it looks really good. Not super too difficult either. So let's give it a shot. Three quarter cups of warm water. I'm just gonna put it in there to try and get out the starter. There we go. Mix those together. That just makes it easier to spread around the starter within the uh, dough. Now I'm going to add, let's see, I got powdered milk, a quarter cup of powdered milk. Half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon sugar. Now, even though we put starter in here, this recipe actually calls for yeast. So, mm, might simplify the recipe a little bit. We'll still get the sourdough flavor and everything, but the yeast will get it going quicker. So, there's the yeast. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, two teaspoons of yeast. Instant yeast. Stir that in. And then we'll go on to the flour. Three cups of flour. I'm using all white flour. Hope this bowl's big enough. Looks good. Looks good. So let's stir this in, get it all nice and wet. And depending on the season and uh, the climate you're in, humidity and all that, you might have to add a little bit more water or a little bit more flour. We'll see how this goes. I have a feeling already that I'm going to have to add more flour. Every single one of these recipes I do, I always seem to have to add not more flour, but more water. So I'm just going to get more water right away. supposed to be a sticky dough. It does have to add a lot more water from the looks of it. Hope I'm not back and forth adding flour and then adding water and then adding flour. <laughs> ah, no, I don't think I'll need, definitely won't need to add more flour. This looks pretty, looks like it's going to be pretty moist right now. Scraping the sides and the bottom to get all the flour incorporated. <clears throat> no, I think I added a whole extra half a cup of water to that. So I'm going to guesstimate that that was a cup and a quarter of warm water.
What I like about this recipe after reading it is uh, this is not going to be an all-day thing. It might take me a couple, might take a couple hours at most, two to three hours at most, I'm guessing. And um, I've got this all nice and mixed now, so I'm just going to cover it with uh, some plastic and a tea towel and let it rest for 45 minutes. my go-to piece of plastic. A nice clean towel and let it rest for 45 minutes. And I'm going to get rid of some of this mess and uh, I'll be back with you in about the 45 minutes. Okay, hi, I'm back. 45 minutes is up. Um, I almost skipped a step. I went, while well, I paused, I went and read my instructions again, and I was supposed to lightly knead it until the dough was a little on the smooth side. So I did that, and uh, now the 45 minutes is up, and let's see how the dough looks. Nicely risen, looks good. Let's get this out of the way. And we're going to flip it out onto a lightly greased counter. And I'll grease my hands too while I'm at it. Uh, what's lightly? I didn't. I normally use olive oil and everything, but I wasn't sure about using olive oil for these. They're kind of a pastry, right? So, oiling up my hands. So, I'm just using vegetable oil. So, and flip her out onto here. Now, we're just going to slightly fold it over. Gently deflate. Yeah, and fold over a few times. So there's one, two, three, gentle, gentle. I th I'm going to be careful not to go crazy here with uh, folding over stuff because I think that was my big mistake on um, the focaccia bread was I over deflated it, pressed it out too hard. <coughs> and now we're going to cut it into the 12 pieces. This thing's easy. So we'll split it into two and now each half will go into six pieces. Did my division wrong? <laughs> I'll make eight. Let's make eight. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Add a little bit more here. 
No, I could. <laughs> a little confused here, I guess, but we're going to make eight nice big ones from the looks of it. And now we're going to just roll it up into a nice long rope. I think I'll get rid of some of this oil now because it's hard to roll. Easier. There we go. Well, maybe I did need the oil. Your flour would be better. Instruction said oil, but I'm kind of thinking flour might be better. So let's see if that's long enough. A little bit more. We got any flour here? That's more like it. It needs to be just a tad longer, so I'll do that before I before I press it down. All right, this will do. Ah, there. Actually, that's that's great. Press it down slightly, and I have a pan here. I'm using parchment paper. I use parchment paper for just about everything. It's Big saving on my pan. Big saving on the washing of the pans. So there's one. Well, maybe I should pause this when I'm done this one. I don't think you want to watch me sit here and roll all of these. So when I'm done this one, I'll pause it and get back to you when I'm finished rolling them. Yep. Boo -boo. They shrink up really fast if you're not quick enough.
So I'll pause these and I'll get back to you when I'm finished rolling. Okay, so I finished rolling them up. And these ones came out a little bit more like knots. But I don't, it's okay, I like it. Okay, so for the topping now, we mixed a tablespoon of sugar with two tablespoons of water. And we're supposed to lightly brush. And uh, apparently this is what gets the uh, salt to stick. And I don't have any um, of the proper salt to use, the um, pretzel salt. So, but I am using sea salt.
Okay, so they're done. Uh, I decided to just put them in the oven when the oven was ready. And um, it was supposed to take about 15 minutes to cook, but mine took a little more than 20 minutes because they're so big. But I checked them with a the thermometer and they're over 200 degrees, so I know they're done. But here they are. They look beautiful. I would have thought they'd be a little more browned. But they're done. So now what we do is we brush the tops with a little bit of melted butter. You don't have to, that's optional. But this should make them just yummy. Maybe I should have done this too off camera and then I could have showed you breaking one open when they cooled a bit, but can't do everything off camera or there's no point in making the video. There we go. I hope these are as good as, as they smell. So they're made with yeast, but they definitely have the sourdough in there, so they're definitely going to be sourdough flavored. A little bit tart, tangy, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take them off the tray. Uh, there we go. Put them on the rack to cool. Ooh, hot. wait to bite into these so I can put them all on this rack. There we go. I made it. Hmm, I wonder if I should risk breaking one apart now. Cool, cool. I'll pause you for 10 minutes and then to be cool enough I can break into one. Well, it's still pretty hot, but I'm going to break one up and show you. I, I just can't wait to taste it. So here goes. Sure, cross my fingers, it's done. Looks done. Maybe it's still too warm to be breaking apart. Sure looks done though. You get a little bit of that, ooh, yum. A little bit of that butter on here. Hmm. That is really good. This is white bread flour. Um, I don't know if it, I don't know if you can see the little specks in there, but my starter I make with whole wheat flour. So if you're wondering about the specks in there, it's not whole wheat flour, it's just whole wheat starter. That is so good. I'm happy this turned out. Let's see how they like when they're fully cooled. Um, one last thing before I let you go, I want to give a little shout out for my my favorite little fan, Olivia, my great granddaughter. Apparently she likes watching me on YouTube, so I want to say hello to Olivia. Love you, sweetheart. In the meantime, you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you're watching it just to see the bloopers, well, I guess you did see some a little faux pas there. So, if you do enjoy watching this, give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.